Hi guys, my name is Sun and I repair musical instruments. Today I'm going to show you how I reskin flute pads. Here you can see a G key with the rich skin at the front. I start by removing the grommet or the pad retainer, then I use a sharpie to extend the mark that dictates the back of the pad all the way down to the edge of the key cup. You'll see why later. I carefully remove the pad without damaging the shims behind it. I place the stabilizer back in the cup in the same position it came out and I always take note of the shims and keep them in their position in the cup for later reference. When I seat this pad, I'll remove the partial shims and then reseat from that point, but it's nice to know what the pad needed last time it was set up. These pads are so rigid and stable it's unlikely to have changed dramatically. Interestingly, these are straw binging pads which often have mylar or plastic shims behind them to stop moisture being absorbed, but this particular flute had traditional paper shims. I'll take this moment to say every technician has their own techniques and I'm not strobing a certified technician. I still work with these pads regularly as players trust my techniques. That does not mean that this is the only way to do it or that there is a right or a wrong way of doing it. This is simply how I do this one job. Then I go to work on removing the skin by carefully cutting around the plastic edge of the pad. I work from the front towards the back of the pad, making sure I don't cut off the skin at the back just yet. I peel the skin off from the front towards the back, making sure I don't damage the pad face or get too much skin oil on the pad. It's a good idea to wash your hands and clean areas before doing this kind of work. Once I've got the pad skins peeled all the way back, I can trace the black line on the skin onto the edge of the plastic pad shell. I do this to make sure that the pad goes into the cup in exactly the same position it came out. This is really important for your pad seating to go well. A slight misalignment in the indentation on the pad can be detrimental for your work. Then we can peel off the backing and we're ready to add a new pad skin. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching and keep the music going.